This is John Koneski hanging out here on Guitar Jams. Oh. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Oh, there you are. Uh, I want to thank John Koneski for being awesome, teaching all this great stuff. And I want to encourage you guys to click the link down there. I'm going to fix your tubes real quick. But, all right. But click the link down there. <laughs> Check all that stuff out. You won't regret it. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this uh, band on the run here. So this song has a really awesome arrangement. It's not like any other song that you've probably heard. There's a beginning section, there's a middle section, and then there's an end section, which is like the chorus at the end. Um, the beginning section is this super cool little series of licks. Now, the full band arrangement that you hear on the record or, or anything like that is is a combination of a bunch of cool different elements that create that sound. I'm combining some of that, some of those memorable moments into a uh, arrangement that you can just play on acoustic guitar. So it starts out with this little thing. And that's not too difficult. We're really sliding with our third finger here from the 10th fret up to the 12th fret and then back down on the first and second strings. Then same motion on the fifth and seventh fret, so. So that's slowly. And then, and that chord is just a D major seven. So you just bar your first finger, bloop, 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 across the second fret of the third, second, and first strings. It's like a D chord, except without that, so you get your major seven in there. So. And then, there's that cool. So we want to get that in there, but let's, you know, let's put some more of the chord in there too so we can let it ring through. So the way I do it is, there's basically, there's this uh, voicing of a D major seven up here that you can go to, but we don't need the whole chord. We just want this top part of it. We have a low D here. So it's open D string. Second, uh, second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, third finger on the seventh fret of the second string, first finger, first finger on the fifth fret of the first string, and we still get our D major seven. But now we're up here where we can have access to this thing. So we're gonna go. Then there's a little thing that's gonna go. So coming out of that. Third finger slides up to the eighth fret. Pull off. First finger is going to grab the seventh fret on the second string. Roll it over to the seventh fret on the third string. To this awesome chord, one of my favorites. It's basically like a G major 13. So it's like a major seven chord with um, uh, six on top. Because you have your seven, it's a 13. So. It looks like this. It's first finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then second finger and third finger on the fourth fret of the uh, fourth and third strings. Pinky's gonna grab that fifth fret there on the second string. And then we have another one of those figures that's like this. A little lower that time. So we can do that by just taking taking the first finger off and barring the third fret uh, across the first and second strings, just playing these bottom four strings. Then with our pinky, we can hit that run on top 
all the chord rings underneath it. So, all together up to there. Then it does the same thing again, except a slight, slight variation. We're going back up to there. Repeating this part again. Now we got a little, it gets a little different here. So the lick is this, or the run. So it's like a D chord shape, just this, these two. Slide it all the way up though, so that you're at the seventh fret on the third string, and the eighth fret on the second string. And you can play your low D note while you do it, and just slide it down. So first move is a half step, then a whole step, and another whole step. So. And then we're gonna go to this chord. Now that's a G minor six chord. So we're going uh, second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, second uh, uh, first finger second fret fourth string, and then we got third finger and pinky on the third frets of the third and second strings. And we're gonna leave that E string open because then we want to grab that third fret with our pinky on the first string. Now the whole time I'm strumming through the chord, but I do not want this A string to ring through, so I'm going to use my second finger to mute that out. Then we're going to go back and do this again. And then... So then that's where the verse comes in. You can simplify a little bit when the vocal's in. D major seven to G minor six. Seven, G minor six, and then that's that whole first section. Okay, so now we're gonna pick it up from the second section here. Um, it's just an A minor chord to a D. So the little figure on top. melody and I'll slow it down so you can see what my right hand is doing here hopefully you can see that strumming pattern there roughly the same strumming pattern we're coming over to the D So you'll notice I'm not playing the full, it's not a full D. We don't need that note in there. We're just going to play these three. It's basically a power chord, essentially. It's just the one and the five. And then we're going to take that third finger off and get that open B string to get the melody going through. So. So that's all that's I consider that to be the second piece of that song and then from there it does this cool little run
And then we're into our last section, which I guess you could call it the chorus. It has the, the name of the song in it, so we'll call that the chorus. Um, okay, so here's that run. It just goes. So G, A, C, D, E, G. That's third fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, uh, and then fifth fret on the fourth string. Then a D power chord, to a C power chord. And then just to our C. So. And now we're into the final section of the song. So it's just strumming on, uh, coming in on a C. So that's the strumming pattern here. I'll slow it down so you can see it. Okay, and then the chord just changes from a C to an F major seven, and that's just a diagonal line right there. Just a third fret, uh, fourth string, second fret, third string, first fret, second string, open E. That's called an F major seven. So we got C. lyric comes in, it's like, hang on the F, back to the C, slow it down, hang on the F, do an E minor. Then it goes G to C. And this is on the part where he's saying band on the run, so. Then E minor. To an A major. Cool little major resolution there, so. For whatever reason, I just decided to grab it that way. There's a thumb wrapped around there. You can play it like this, or like this, whatever you want to do. So, goes. So this is right after that part where we're saying band on the run. So it goes. C two. And then he's going to go back into singing Band on the Run, but the chords are a little different this time, so. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but I, I like it the way it sounds. I was doing it this way, and for some reason I like this. So it's C to this thing. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's like a... Whatever it is, uh, it doesn't matter. It sounds good sweet. Sounding thing. So you just go back and forth between that, and that that chord is just played like this. It's a um, like an F chord, like an F major seven chord we did earlier. Take your middle finger off, so you got third fret of the fourth string, first fret of the second string. So here we go. Just moves back and forth. Now we're back to another rotation. minor to G to C, uh, E minor to A, F, C, F, 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 and back into that other part of the chorus here. Then it goes to this little thing with the these little stops. And this is the only other piece to this song. It just goes. Then it goes. 
So that's just B minor, G, C. And then the second time it goes E minor, E minor, C, A minor. And then we're back into So then there's another rotation of that thing that we just did, another full rotation of that chorus, and then that's the whole thing. That's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>